So this past weekend went out and saw Jurassic World Dominion, the finale to not just the Jurassic World franchise, but to the Jurassic Park franchise as a whole. They really built this up as the big finale, the sixth film in this franchise. The last movie, Fallen Kingdom, may not have been the greatest movie, but it set up a really promising premise with now the dinosaurs being out in the world. Not only did Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom promote this idea at the end of the film, and it was going to be leading into the next film, but the marketing for this movie just totally threw it in your face. This is the one. Dinosaurs are unleashed in the world. Do they have dominion over the world? Do we have dominion? How are we doing with dinosaurs now existing side by side with us? Apparently, we're doing just fine. The whole setup, the whole end of Fallen Kingdom, bringing dinosaurs into the world, the whole marketing of this movie, dinosaurs are now here living among us. The movie is not about dinosaurs living among us, at least not in the way that the movie promoted itself to be. The beginning of this movie, there's a whole dump of exposition talking about how dinosaurs running amok the world, causing all this chaos, causing all this destruction, and just disrupting people's lives. The, the whole montage of that at the beginning of the film really gave promise to this movie for me i was actually getting really excited i was like all right let's go let's do this that's all we get the dinos being in the world they just they're just there people are fine with it people are going to work people are going to their jobs with no problem dinosaurs don't get in the way of any of that they're just breezing through life i mean every once in a while you'll see a dinosaur here and there a pterodactyl will fly over the landscape but they don't they don't mess with buildings they don't grab anyone out of their their offices you know on the 24th floor or whatever on wall street nah they're fine we're doing good everything's just fine with dinosaurs in the world if you want to know what that title dominion's about here's the actual plot of the movie there was a genetics company who has created mutant locusts who they sent out this mutant locust to eat up all the other crops of the world besides the ones that they produce so that they can have dominion over the food sources of the world. That's Jurassic. That's the dominion of Jurassic World Dominion. Okay, let's talk about the original cast coming back because I was really excited about this cast coming back. You got Sam Neill, Laura Dern, Jeff Goldblum reprising their roles from the original film. And for the most part, I felt like they were completely wasted. I mean, for the majority of the movie, it's Laura Dern and Sam Neill together. Jeff Goldblum is not in this movie as much as you might think that he might be in this movie. And they're going off and they're investigating about this locust crap that's going on in this organization. And our other main characters, uh, you know, Chris Pratt and um, Bryce Dallas Howard, they're now looking after Maisie, the little girl, the clone girl from Fallen Kingdom. And uh, apparently the world knows she's a clone and there's people out to get her and they do. And she gets kidnapped. And so Owen and Claire, they go off to go save Maisie. And they may just encounter dinosaurs along the way. And eventually, yes, they do meet up with the OG characters. But when I say eventually, I mean eventually, guys. This took way too long to get the original characters and the new cast together in this film. I'm pretty sure they don't get together until at least the last half an hour of the movie. And when they do get together... You don't get that magical feeling that you want to get from this movie. I wanted it to be more fun. And for the most part, when you get these characters interacting with the new characters, it just doesn't work as well as I wanted it to work. I mean, it does have some synergy to it, but not in the way that, you know, like when the Avengers came together, like when you had these individual characters and in individual movies, you fell in love with them. And then they came together all together in one movie. That was so exciting. And the excitement just isn't there for me. And the movie focuses a lot on new characters. There's this new character they introduced with Owen and Claire's uh, subplot. They try really hard to attach this movie all the way back to the original film by bringing in a villain who was in the original film for like a little bit. I'm not going to get too much into that because that could be considered a spoiler who the villain is in this movie. But just know that they kind of, they mention his name and unless you really have paid attention to the original Jurassic Park movie, it might just go right over your head who this villain is. Now, there are some dinosaur sequences in this movie. And the dinosaur sequences, they can be fun. They're just not thrilling to me. They're not very exciting. And they're definitely not scary. Remember when dinosaurs in Jurassic Park were scary? I didn't find any sequences in this movie to be 
suspenseful or or just like on the edge of my seat. There's a scene where Claire, Bryce Dallas Howard's character, is running full speed away from, I, I don't know, some kind of raptor character. All the dinosaurs kind of look the same to me now. Do they look the same to you? They look the same to me now. She's running away from this dinosaur, this specific dinosaur, and this dinosaur just can't keep up with Claire. She's just, she's the flash. She's running all over the place, and this dinosaur cannot catch her. A couple of minutes later, the same exact dinosaur or same set of dinosaurs are chasing Chris Pratt's character Owen on a motorcycle. And the dinosaur is just barely keeping up with this motorcycle. And you're telling me that this dinosaur couldn't keep up with Claire, but can keep up with this motorcycle, who I'm pretty sure Claire is not running away as fast of from? Stuff like that just started to drive me insane in this movie. And the bottom line is with Jurassic World Dominion, you get the dinosaur action here and there. But the promise, the premise that the last film set up and that they're marketing to you of how does the world adjust to living with dinosaurs, it does not fulfill that promise. It doesn't really even touch upon it. It's very disappointing. It was very disappointing to me, at least. And so for that reason, when it comes to Jurassic World Dominion, I just, I give it a not recommend. I just don't recommend this movie. I don't think it's very fun. I think it's way too long. And uh, it's a real disappointing way to end the Jurassic franchise, if you ask me. But that's just me, guys. What did you think of Jurassic World Dominion? Did you have more fun with it than I did? Did you like it more than I did? Comment down below. Let me know. I want to know all your thoughts and opinions about this movie. And without further ado, let's take a look and see what you guys are saying about it.